hi guys welcome back so in today's video i will be doing an art rug and i will be framing it i'm so excited so i've been pretty stuck on orders but now that i have the time i decided to challenge myself and do something creative and a more detailed piece usually i'm always afraid to challenge myself because i feel like i won't do good but i was like you know what fuck it let's do something different just enter this project with a good mindset and with that good mindset it will come out perfect i'm going for a more japanese art style so these are the two images that i picked so for this rug since my frame isn't big enough i had to flip it and i'm gonna have to tuft it that way I was kind of scared about that because I've never done the rug like that. It usually always fits, but this was the only way it would work so it can fit in the frame. It's just straight lines, so it's not too difficult. The night before, I decided to make some outlines on the image and see the lines better when I'm tufting each color. color you can see that we have different shades of reds i have a dark red a light red and then i picked a red in between those two so it would be easier for me i didn't want to get so many reds because i want like the reds to not blend good with each other so i just picked three good reds this rug was pretty easy all i had to do most of the time were straight lines so it just hurted my back a lot but <laughs> it's all good i had to put on a mask because the fiber particles were starting to itch my nose really bad i was starting to get confused on what red went where so i sometimes had to count down on the image and on the rugs
this rug is for sure more detailed than the other image but that's okay because i truly believe that this one's going to come out so nice I decided I wanted this section more thinner, pulled out the yarn, and I just etched it up to fix the cloth. This rug is for sure more challenging. I have to challenge myself every once in a while. I honestly loved like more detailed things and working with so many colors and making sure that I get everything in, even all the little pieces. I just loved it. Lanterns came out so cute though. It's probably my favorite part on this rug. It took me a while to find the perfect gold glow, but luckily we found some hidden away in all our yarns, so we made it work. I had some space between the two rugs, so instead of wasting the cloth, I made some mini rugs similar to the art piece. So if anybody buys it and I sell it, um, I can give them little mini rugs to come with it. Now that they are fully dry, we can now cut them out and start giving them the finishing touches. It's easier if you just cut them out from the frame because you save more time and it's less messy. I used to pull out the whole cloth and then cut each and it just took forever. From here, I'll start cleaning up the edges. Since the glue is super sticky, I don't have to re-glue the edges. I just fold those bad boys in and it just sticks so good. We always have leftover cloth, that's why I have like a little pile, little small pieces. For this reason, um, they fit so perfect on the new rugs. Honestly, that's what I love about us. We always try to find a way to make things work and that way so much. The spraying glue process always has to be taken outside. I want to be spraying up the whole house, you know. Sun started coming out and I was starting to sweat so hard, even with this freaking jacket. Oh my god, I just wanted to be done. But my boyfriend had an umbrella for me while I finished up the last two rugs, and that really helped me out a lot.
also got a new small trimmer and it works so good on smaller rugs and on the edges. This was also my first time ever trimming down a rug. I was scared but I ended up doing pretty good. It took us a while to figure out how we would be able to do this. First thing we had to do was cut the poster board to the size of the frame. This is the tape we will be using to stick the rug onto the poster board. To make the poster board stick, um, we will be using heavy duct tape on the back of it and it will be done around the whole frame and it will come out looking like this when we flip it. We are going to start adding the scotch tape so it can hold the rug once we place it into the frame. Gotta make sure we push it down so it can stick on extra good. 